Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Yong, and welcome back to my vlog. So for today's vlog, guys, I will teach you how to use Canva. So since madalas na tayo na nagpapasa ng mga requirements online, eh gusto natin i-upgrade yung mga ginagawa natin or yung mga requirements natin para naman may additional points tayo, most especially sa mga student, okay? Today, or tonight, I will teach you how to use that application. So, para sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, Canva is a free application or editing app that you can use to create presentation, invitation, to create your report, to create posters, and so many more. Pinadaling version siya ng Photoshop. Mas madaling version siya in the sense na yung mga pwede mong gawin or most most uh, nung mga basic na pwede mong gawin sa Photoshop, eh pwede mong gawin sa Canva. You can use it to remove background of the photos. You can use it uh, to create or to add some elements and so on and so forth. So, kung gusto nyo malaman yon, mapa-teacher ka man, mapa-student ka man, or ano man yan, ano pa man yan, itong vlog na to ay para sa'yo. So, kung gusto mong malaman, stay tuned. Okay, so first, you need to download the Canva app through your app store or sa mga gumagamit ng mga windows, you can download it through the Microsoft store. So, I have the Canva now here. So, ganyan. Once you download it, ganito magpapakita sa inyo. So, you need first to uh, create your account. So, kapag nag-create kayo ng account nyo, it's either you can use your Facebook account or your Google account. So, ako kasi may na okay, may tawag dito. May ready made, may naka-ready na akong account so I can use my Google account. Okay, once you log in, magpapakita na sa inyo itong screen na ganito. Okay? So here you can find some different formats. Meron tayo dito for presentation, okay, for social media, for video, and some ad, uh, some other designs, okay? So ngayon ang ma-share ko since ang mostly ang ginagawa ko sa school namin is for promotional posters uh, I will share to you uh, kung paano ko ginagawa yung mga posters na yon so uh, makikita nyo dito sa ating left side meron dito yung all your designs kung ano yun na ba yung mga nagawa mo okay you can share uh, yung mga senior nilang design sa inyo and so on and so forth so ang gagawin nyo lang when you want to create your design just uh, click this one create a design Okay, and then mamimili ka na kung ano ba yung gagawin mo. It's either for poster, for uh, logos, for videos, Instagram posts, and so on and so forth. So, marami kang mga choices dito. So, ang ituturo ko ngayon sa inyo is yung paggawa nga ng poster. Once you click the create designs, okay, magka magpapakita sa inyo itong blank, blank na canvas na ito. Ang tawag natin dito sa ating sa eto, itong blanco na ito is yung canvas mo. Okay? May mga ready-made na dito na mga posters. Okay? Posters or layout na pwede mong gamitin okay? For your designs. So, let's say for example, uh, I want to create a poster regarding ocean. Okay? So, magsasearch lang ako or gusto, kapag gusto kong i-change yung background nito, all you have to do is to click this one Okay, the background here. Okay. And then you can search uh, the design or the background you want. So, let's say for example, you want an ocean. Okay, so ayan. You can just uh, search the uh, ocean and choose the design you want or the background you want. So, let's say for example, ito yung gusto ko. So, ayan. mag appear na dito yung background na pinili natin. And, uh, if you want to add a text, okay, just click the text here. Okay, so ito siya. And all you have to do is to uh, search for the, kung gusto mo naman, okay, yung ready-made na na, na ready-made na na font style, meron din siya dito. So, let's say for example, gusto kong gamitin uh, ito or ito. Okay, all you have to do is to click it and kapag gusto mong i-change, Okay, limbawa, lalagay dito, ocean. Okay. 
Ayan. So, halimbawa, hindi natin nakikita yung kanyang color at gusto natin siyang baguhin. I-click nyo lang dito yung, eto yung tinatawag na text color. Pwede mo dito i-customize kung ano ba yung kulay na gusto mo. Say, say for example, ang gusto ko ay, okay, blue. Okay, you can just search the word blue. Okay, and automatic magpapakita yung mga shades ng blue. And can change it. Okay, halimbawa, ayan. And hindi ka satisfied dito, halimbawa, sa kanyang font style. At gusto mo siyang baguhin. Okay, ang gagawin mo lang, i-click mo lang itong okay, font styles na ito. Magpapakita na dito yung different font styles available. So, say for example, itong gusto kong gamitin na font style. Okay, so ayan, magpapakita na siya. Yung effect niya kasi is na kaniyon. Okay, so pwede nating baguhin. Okay, we have, i-click-click nyo lang itong effects na ito. Papakita dito yung shadow, leaf, hollow, and so on. Okay, alam ba, ito yung gusto kong gamitin. Okay, so yan. And, kung gusto nating i-decrease or increase yung kanyang size, all you have to do is to uh, select all, and then makikita nyo dito, ito yung kanyang decrease font style, okay, increase font style. Okay, so alam ba, papalitan natin siya into 100. Okay, pwede nyo nang select and then okay click the 100 pag gusto nyo increase okay okay ayan click nyo lang itong plus plus sign here and say for example gusto natin ito na nasa left yung kanyang indent or alignment okay kiklik naman ito uh, you can click this one the alignment okay to the left it's either to the left okay or naka justify siya to the right or to the center okay so ayan Okay, meron din dito yung kanyang uh, bullet, numbers, okay, na nakikita natin kapag nag encode tayo sa Microsoft Word. Ang kagandahan nito guys, uh, kaya ako sinabing madali, yung mga ibang mga control na ginagamit natin sa Microsoft Word, e eh, pwede natin gamitin dito. Say for example, uh, you want to copy, okay, this text, all you have to do is to select and uh, type the word uh, or click the key, control, Eh, plus the letter C okay for uh, for the shortcut ng copy halimbawa ipipaste naman natin just click the word or the key control and uh, num uh, the letter V okay so magpipaste naman siya okay so yan so, say for example ikakat natin to okay control X okay diba yun yung mga basic na mga keys or shortcuts na ginagamit natin sa Microsoft pwede natin i-apply dito You want to select this all. Okay, control A. Okay. So, ganyan. Para ma-select all. So, halimbawa, gusto mo namang mag-add ngayon ng elements. Okay, ng mga designs niya. Okay. Ang gagawin mo lang is to select this, uh, this one. Elements. So, you can... Uh, search any uh, any designs or elements you want here. Say for example, gusto ko maglagay dito ng mga birds or mga flamingos. Oh, uh, Ito type mo lang or you can just uh, search the word flamingo. At padami nang magpapakita dito guys. So yan, padami nang magpapakita dito ng mga uh, elements. So ayan, pwede nyo nang idagdag dito. Okay, you can put anywhere you want. Okay, limbawa beach umbrella okay so ganyan beach umbrella search mo lang yung design or elements na gusto mo and there you go okay marami na tayong elements na magpapakita dito click mo lang and ayan may add na siya dito so ayan kung gusto mong baguhin ayan search ka lang here Okay, so ayan, marami tayong mga designs dito. So, another thing is, uh, if you want uh, to add your personalized photos, okay, you can upload your photo. Okay, pwede mong i-click dito yung photo mo. Say, for example, ayan, mag-a-add tayo ng photo ko. Halimbawa, ayan, i-add ko siya here. Okay, i-click nyo lang. And then, kapag may gusto pa tayong i-upload, click, uh, click the upload media. It's either media, uh, it's image man yan, video man yan, and, or audio man yan. Okay? So, marami dito. And then, ano pa ba? So, ayan. 
Pwede nyo ring i-change yung kanyang, uh, pwede nyo ring i-crop yung photos. Ayan. Pwede nyo ring i-edit yung photo or alisin yung background. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na madali kumpara sa Adobe Photoshop na minamano-mano natin, nilalaso-laso natin. Dito guys, you can use the background remover para maalis yung kanyang background. All you have to do is to click the background remover and automatic na. Okay, mare-remove na yung background. So, di ba, hindi na natin kailangan maglaso-laso pa here para ma-remove ma yung background. So, ayan guys. Pwede na natin maalis yung background. Oh, halimbawa, nandito ako. Oh. So, ilalagay natin siya dyan. Okay, so, ganyan. Awa. Uh, you want to save the file, just click the file. And you can customize the size. Okay. Okay, you can save it on the folder or make a copy, so you can use it. Ayan, so halimbawa, save na natin, at yan na yung design na gusto natin. Okay, finalize lang natin to guys. So, ayan, halimbawa, lagay natin dito. Okay, so ayan, save na natin. Uh, just click the save button, and then, if you want to download it, just click this one, this icon, and you can choose the file type you want. It's either PNG, JPEG, okay, PDF, Okay, MP4, GIF, and so on. Okay, so, alimbawa, PNG ang gusto ko, and I want to download this, I just click the download button, and then, automatic, madadownload na, da madadownload na siya. So, yan, ready na yung ating file. Okay, you can uh, send it now. Okay, so, uh, send it now to your uh, teacher as your requirements, ipost sa inyong social media. Okay, and so on and so forth. So, I hope na nakatulong sa inyo itong ating mini tutorial na ito. So, hindi pa siya as in in-depth kasi parang basic tutorial pa lang ito. So, ayan, next time na gagawa kayo ng mga poster nyo, you can use the Canva. So, that's it for today's vlog. So, I hope that you learn. And katulad nga ng lagi kong sinasabi sa inyo, just don't forget to keep on studying hard. And para sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, just don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell para naman lagi kayo updated sa mga uploads ko. Ayun, yun lang for today's vlog. So, see you again on my next vlog. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>